seeing credit, big government, too much intervention in our lives, and all of a sudden people are waking up and saying, we've been going in the wrong direction, it's about time to turn around and turn to our Constitution for our leadership. just this administration, it's just not this Congress, and not just, uh, just this judicial system that we have. It's been going on for a long time. Probably the erosion of our liberties and the trend away from the Constitution was well uh, in place probably as, as much as 100 years ago. And certainly after World War I and the Depression, we have become lackadaisical about what our freedoms are all about. We were and still remain a rich country, but people concentrated on the things that freedom provides. But now, because our country is getting much poorer, what we have to concentrate on, how do things get produced? And they only get produced in a free country, they can't be produced in a slave country, and that is what we have right now. In the 1970s, after we lost our last link to uh, gold, and recognizing that after that happened, then we would be printing a lot of money, and we have, and we have suffered the consequence. But it's a sinister uh, uh, policy to ever allow a government, along with the collusion of a secret bank, to create money out of thin air. And this is what we've done. But this is why I come to the strong conclusion that by following the Constitution, if we want to have sound money and a sound economic policy, we have to deal with the Federal Reserve System. special privilege in the military industrial complex, now the medical industrial complex, and all the special interests, you know, it's easy. It's easy to tax a bit, but then when the taxes get high, too high, they can't raise them anymore. Then they go out and they borrow to the hill, and they still don't have enough money, so they then resort to this trick of just saying, well, let's create make money out of thin air. And then they wonder, wonder why the dollar is going down in value, like it's, like it's some strange economic theory. Why does the value of the dollar go down by this creation? But it serves the interest of a well-connected, and what it does, it wipes out the middle class. And this is not new in history, this is ancient history. It's happened all the time that the middle class and the poor get wiped out with rising prices and due to the monetary system that is run secretly for the special benefit of the special interests. And that always comes to an end badly. This is how all great empires end. They destroy their currency. So when you see it, read and hear about the dollar going down, you have to recognize that as a sign, a symbol of what, what is happening to us because we've been living way beyond our means. The Soviet system didn't come to a collapse because we had to invade, invade them and have a nuclear war. The Soviet system collapsed because economically it was totally unsound. And though we do not have the tyrannical approach uh, of the Soviet system, we have some similarities in what we do in our economy, and unfortunately, we are now losing some of our personal liberties, which are threatening to us, and we must reverse as well. The solution is very simple. By following the Constitution and common sense and the advice of the founders who said, stay out of entangling alliances, don't become the policemen of the world, don't get involved in nation building, means very simply, the policy is not complex. We know where the problem is. We know what will happen if we don't change it. So very simply, the foreign policy of this nation ought to be come home now.